All right, the last thing we have here then, uh, an important subject, is what to do when you have your option contract, you're in your position, what do you do with it at that point? You have three things you can do. It's uh, offset, expire, and exercise. So offset. Offset is simply liquidating your position. So option contracts, calls and puts, they're separate and distinct contracts. So if you're a buyer of a call, to liquidate, you sell a call. If you're the seller of a put, you're buying back that put. Those are two separate contracts. So you can offset it. You can sell your position, your put or your call, identical to the put or call originally purchased. I do get a question about, all right, so let's say I shorted an option, and what if that, the, the trader I, I sold it to, he wants to come back and, and buy it back? Well, that can't happen because once the transaction takes place, the connection's severed. So let's say Jeff here per, uh, wants to buy an option, I'm selling it. I sell it to Jeff, he buys it from me. That's it, we're done. We'll never meet up again. The connection's severed. So once you have your option, if you're the buyer, you have the right at any time before expiration. The option seller, though, you're obligated at any time before expiration. Next is exercise, which is simply doing nothing. That's just letting your, mark, your option expire worthless. Uh, to me, this is the, the last of the three you should choose as an option trader. Uh, if you're in an option position, it's not going your way. I think you're better off liquidating the position. Take back whatever premium you can and use it for the next trade. Not all trades are going to be winners. So if you have a losing trade in your hand, take your premium away. We looked at that time value chart. You can sit and hope that the position is going to come back, but we saw how it dramatically drops off. So you know, up here where it looked like it was a losing trade, you can take more premium than you can down here. And the last one is exercising your position. I get a lot of questions about what does exercising mean. So I'm going to walk you through that right now. I think if you're going to be a super option trader, you should understand this process because you can use it to your advantage. So let's go to this screen here, exercise. This is how it works. You call your broker. You call me, Don, I've got this option that I want to exercise. What we'll do on that conversation is first check to make sure you have the margin requirement because you're taking on the underlying futures contract. Remember, we looked at 1250 gold, and we said, yes, we want that option. So if we had that 1250 gold and start trading about 1302, we'll be long from 1250, and the market's at 1302. So we have 52 points of value right there. So we'll look at the margin. Let's make sure you can take on this gold position. That's number one. Number two, then, is I'll ask you, do you want to liquidate your position in the futures market, or do you want to trade this out? So we can place a stop loss and a target on our position right at that time. On that same phone call, you could give me your stop price and your target price. When I get off the phone with you, I'm going to contact the exchange. That's whatever exchange, you know, Board of Trade, uh, the ICE, whatever exchange that our option is, is uh, resting at. I'm going to contact the exchange and let them know your account number, your trade, and that you're assuming your right to exercise your position. And then once I get confirmation, that's a done deal. You're, a futures position is created immediately. Now, you may not see it if you log in through the Daniels Trading website. You may not see the position show up. Or if you're on your trading platform, you may not see the futures position right away. It might even be on that night statement. It might be the next night statement. Uh, but know that a futures position is created immediately. So on the other end, I talked about how you know, Jeff and I did this trade, and then our connection was severed. The exchanges randomly assign a short option position that the underlying futures contract. So if a trader sold 1250 gold, that call option, he's now going to be short if he's randomly assigned. And they usually do it first in, first out. One thing about exercising a position that's very important to understand, if you're ever going to take this route, is as the option buyer, you forfeit your premium. That's gone. So your break even actually is not 1250. It's 1250 plus whatever premium you paid for that option plus your commissions and fees. So the option seller, you will get to collect your premium no matter what. So your break even is your strike price plus or minus the premium that you sold, you originally sold the contract for.
This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Trading Broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Trading, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www www.danielstrading.com. Daniels Trading is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Trading does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services. When investing in the purchasing of options, you may lose all of the money you invested. When selling options, you may lose more than the funds you invested. Stop orders do not necessarily limit your loss to the stop price because stop orders, if the price is hit, become market orders, and depending on market conditions, the actual fill price can be different from the stop price. If a market reached its daily price fluctuation limit, a limit move, it may be impossible to execute a stop loss order.